Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Tuesday, November 14th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. Word after head or heart. Hmm, it's not a heartbeat. There's no such thing as a head beat. Hmm, what do we have here? 24 hour banking conveniences. And because we have an abbreviation in our clue, our answer should be abbreviated also. I think this is gonna be ATMs. Fail without. Hmm, I would want this to be flunk out, but that doesn't fit. Head. Head or heart. Hmm. Cereal for kids with a silly rabbit. Okay, well, we all know tricks are for kids, silly rabbit. So, maybe this is dropout. Hmm. Heart. Interesting. Blueprint info. That's going to be specs. QB's call. That's hike. Uh... This is looking really, really weird. C-suite rolls. Okay, that's execs. Hmm. This can't be right. A-D-H-E? Something has to be wrong here. What to do when you see C-23, 37, 39, 48, and 60 across? Oh my god, um, hmm, well, it definitely seems like this O is wrong, so maybe this could be a headache and heartache, oh, finally. So, I guess this is crap out, make, this is interesting, it feels like it's the revealer and we're hitting it first, this has got to be Ash Wednesday, oh, is this going to be make a wish? And these are all going to be things you're supposed to make a wish on when you see them? That would be a really fun idea for a theme. Let's see if that's what this is. Hem's counterpart. Yeah, that's hem and haw. Prefix with dent. Hmm. I'm not sure what they're going for here. Web designer's code. That's HTML. Diva's solo, that's an aria. Oh, so this is a trident, like Neptune would have. Okay. Blunder. Hmm, that should just be a mistake. Christine of Chicago Hope. I've seen this actress's name on the puzzle a lot. This is Christine Lottie. Uh, this is two T's. Remove as paint from wood. That should be strip. So this is not a mistake. We made a mistake here. Maybe it's a misstep? Yeah. I see you staffers. That's gotta be registered nurses. I wonder if we can get this first theme answer here. This streaker in the night. Yeah, that's gotta be a shooting star, right? You can make a wish on a shooting star. Flowers prominently used in Indian weddings. Ooh. I don't know if I'm gonna know this one. Long running hip hop magazine with the. Is that the source? I wanna say maybe it is. Like indigenous affairs. Hmm. Why is this capitalized? Indigenous affairs. Huh, this has got to be a proper noun because it's capitalized. Interesting. Blame. Hmm. Is this a verb or a noun? Blank national, airport serving DC. Huh. I'm not sure what airport this is. German camera brand. Is that Leica? I think it might be. Chinese-American dish. That could be chop suey. 
Okay, that broke us into this corner up here. George or Marty of Back to the Future. I love this movie. They were both named McFly. Winning. Hmm. Winning. I'm not sure what they're going for here. Counterpart of masculine, abbreviated. That would be feminine. Kid seat on Santa. That's Santa's lab. That's coming up pretty soon. Football units abbreviated are yards. So I guess this is a head, yeah. Frolics, that's gotta be romps. So I guess this is marigolds. Man, I don't think I would have guessed that. This insect crawling by. Can you make a wish on a ladybug? I bet you can. Like indigenous affairs. Maybe it's tribal. Blame. Okay, that's gotta be a cues. So is this Reagan? Let's see. Mad as a hatter, that's right. And man's name hidden in bottleneck. Yeah, that's a Len, that's right here. Okay. Deep grief, that's gotta be woe. Has title to. If someone has a title to something, she owns it. I like that a lot. And these quotation marks mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase. Hmm, I wonder if this is ooh with three O's? That would be a little weird, let's see. Rows number 13 through 16 in a theater. Hmm, are these usually something specific? I don't know. That's interesting. Is this an H? This stray bit on your face. Oh, that's an eyelash, right? That's an eyelash that's fallen off. Okay. Hmm. Little laugh. Is that tee-hee? That would be a little laugh. Ne'er the less. And this is kind of poet speak, so our answer needs to be in poet speak too. I think this is gonna be though. German A, that is ein the indefinite article. Howdy, folks, another equivalent phrase. Uh, I think because they included a word that means a lot of people, our answer should have something like that too. So maybe this is, hi, y'all. <laughs> Let's see if that's right. Dives into, is that has at? Actress Cuthbert of TV's 24. I did watch the first season of that. I think this is Elisha. Is that right? Garment for a tiny tot. Yeah, that's a onesie. Native of Nevada's largest city. That's gotta be Las Vegas, right? So would this be a Las Vegan? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Things that might have kids going off on a tangent. And this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark here. What we have to do with wordplay clues is look for a punny answer. I wonder if they're talking about a tangent that you might learn about in math class. Yeah, so it's not math classes. It's gotta be things plural. Hmm, I think it is maybe going to start with math, but this is looking very, very weird. Oh, is it just a string of letters in the alphabet? It would be M-N-O-P, right? Man, what a wild clue for this entry. Okay, so let's see what our next wish is here. This on a clock. Is there a specific time when you're supposed to make a wish? It's not 11, 11, is it? Hmm, I wonder if that's what it is. I've never heard that one before. Things. Hmm, singer-songwriter DeFranco. That's Ani DeFranco. 
respected sort. That should really be an elder. Vietnam's Wen Van Thieu after 1975. Uh, is this a person or a city? I don't know. Is it exile? Wouldn't it be exiled if it was a person being exiled? Huh, this one's a little weird. Block stacking game. Hmm, that's gotta be Jenga, yeah. Blue bird, that could be a J. GPS prediction should be an estimated time of arrival. Hot off the press, that would be something that's very new. Starting lineup, that would be your A team. Signs of exhaustion, yeah, that's yawns. Oh, so this is math exams, there we go. Exile. Yeah, he could be in exile after 1975. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Yeah, but that makes sense. Dallas 5 to fans. Is that the Mavs, the Mavericks, the basketball team? Lingerie material, that's definitely lace. And this should be Tel Aviv. Car expense that's often reimbursable. Hmm, I wonder if that's mileage if you're driving a car for work. So this would be here in Le Havre. That's easy. Yeah, that's here in French. Rare achievement in entertainment. That would be winning the Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. Garnet and Ruby. Hmm. These are gems. Are they reds? Oh my god, they're just talking about colors. That is so tricky. Silent greeting. That could be a nod. Alcohol withdrawal symptoms in brief. Yeah, that's delirium tremens. Christmas blank. That's gotta be Christmas Eve. All right. It's the truth, an equivalent phrase. No lie. Okay. River through three of the 10 largest cities in Russia. The big river in Russia is the Volga River. So I guess this is our last wish, right? This just before you blow on the seeds. Yeah, that's gotta be a dandelion when it's all white, right? That isn't funny. I guess so. Challenge for a speech coach. That would be a lisp, just like Sylvester had yesterday. Missing, that's gone. And poker buy-in is an ante. So this should be a fencing sword. Fencing weapon, yeah, that's an epe. Very nice, all right. Let's throw this E in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Tuesday puzzle in 18 minutes. So our theme today is make a wish. We have five things that you can make a wish on. A shooting star, an eyelash, a ladybug, 1111, that was new to me, and a dandelion. And we even got a punny math clue today. Things that might have kids going off on a tangent for math exams. I also really liked marigolds as an entry. That's just very pretty sounding. All right, well, my wish is that you enjoyed solving that Tuesday puzzle with me. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Wednesday solve, and I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. <laughs>